up everybody this is your girl miss p i hope that you were doing fabulous today i haven't done a video in a little bit because i had graduation this week i graduated yesterday and that video is coming up soon but i'm not even done celebrating no 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 Oh, wow. Okay, we're back. I hope that you were doing fabulous today. Happy Cinco de Mayo Doritos Los Tacos to everybody. Yes, I just said Doritos Los Tacos. Please do not. Don't, don't judge me. I've been drinking all day. I definitely have to give a shout out to um, X-Rated. Really need to check out. That is some bomb liquor for you okay it's wonderful i love it this is really an update type video and yes you've seen the title correctly i'm gonna get into that in a few minutes yesterday i graduated i had a beautiful wonderful day thank you guys so much for all the love all the support all the congratulations the comments all of that and so many people were like miss p i want to send you something i was like oh shut up you want to send me something oh my god okay so pretty much what we're gonna do is I have to go to the post office on Monday and I will be getting me a P.O. box. Um, it should take me like a day or so and then I'll let you guys know what the address is and all of that. Thank you for that. I really appreciate it. So I graduated yesterday. It was a beautiful day. I really, really enjoyed myself. I'll put a picture over in this area. I'm still working on editing that. It's not even done yet because I wanted to put everything together. So everybody's been asking lately, Miss P, are you going to stop making videos? You know, now that you've graduated and different things and what are you going to be doing? Um, no, I won't stop making videos at least for the month of May. The month of May, I really don't have any anything going on at the time. I'll be putting out videos and different things like that. I have a lot of things that I want to do for you guys as well as for myself. I won't be in this area for too long. So the whole month of May, probably like in the next two weeks, I'll be moving to somewhere else to do my videos. Um, I'm converting the dining room, like the back of my dining room, into my set so that I'll be able to do my What You Say Happen Nows as well as my videos from Miss Peace Tech Talk, my tech channel. And that way I'll have more space and more room. I want to have a meet and greet. I'm going to my cousin's graduation in Charlotte and that is June the 9th he graduates in the morning so I figured oh my god I could have a meet and greet like in the evening time so what I'm going to do I've always wanted to have a meet and greet in North Carolina but I've never had the opportunity to do so because I've been busy and it, it's just been clashing but I'm like oh my god Charlotte is a very nice focal point we could do it there so anybody in North Carolina surrounding areas wherever you come from we will have a meet and greet on June the 9th in Charlotte I'm thinking the location we might do like Dave and Buster's um time Tasha from Tasha TV, she told me about this place called the Epicenter. I hope I'm saying that right. I'm not from Charlotte, so I don't know. Definitely will tell you guys the location as well as the time, but it will be June the 9th, so definitely put that on your calendars, but it'll be a lot of fun. So um, I love having meet and greets, but me being in school, haven't had the opportunity to do so, but I love to have them wherever I go, and um, it's really nice to meet you guys and actually put a screen name to a face. My main goal for this summer is to try to relax and to travel a lot and just do whatever okay the whole tattoo business I, I woke up this morning and I was like I want to get a tattoo and I was like oh my god I really want to get one so I remembered you guys remember I went with my friend in a past vlog she had her tattoo on her foot and we went to that place and I was like that's where I want to get it done at oh my god they were doing the mostest with the hostess today he told me to come back and within like 45 minutes and I was like okay no problem get back over there he was like oh my god somebody came in and they got a sleeve you know and then next guy we only have one guy working today I was like oh my god y'all are a tattoo shop you only got one guy who can tattoo okay y'all are on some and he was like you can wait like four hours I was like I don't have time so I go to another place that I originally went to two years ago but I chickened out and the girl she was so nice she was so welcoming and I went to another place and the girl was like we don't do hand tattoos because they're not guaranteed and they're gonna fade and blah 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 I was like okay you just lucked out of some money so I I went to the other place and they were like sure no problem and she got one of these guys who's a veteran and doing first tattoos and he's really good and his name is Nate so shout out to him I'm the most indecisive person ever I'm a Libra so we're very indecisive on my videos you guys will know I'll be like and I'm gonna get one I'm, I'm really gonna get a tattoo and I don't get it but today I really got one I get there and I'm kind of nervous like my heart is beating real fast my adrenaline is pumping and uh. I'm in the tattoo shop recording while I'm getting this. <laughs> I will. <laughs> I'm gonna get love, something like that, um, on my finger. Say bye, fans. 
mom took me out for lunch earlier today. And um, I had like three Alberto Sours and I just knew I was going to get a tattoo and I told her. And she was like, yeah, let's do it. And my mom, she's like a daredevil. I think that's where I get it from because I'm very spontaneous. I'm responsible and I'm spontaneous. But when I get around spontaneous people, it's a wrap. So my mom, she's like an enabler. She'll be like, oh, yeah, let's do it. So um, I called my dad, and I was like, I'm going to get a tattoo today. And he was like, okay. So um, I didn't tell anybody. I just told my parents, and I took my mom with me. And uh, she was like, you want me to record? I was like, uh-uh. So I specifically told her, do not record me while I was getting my tattoo. But she did. <laughs> So, I ended up getting, it says love, and it's really cute, and I'm going to go back and get a heart, like, beside the E, but this is a really sensitive spot for me. This is a, That's my thumbnail. In the top area, this right here, did not hurt on my skin, like, right up here. Did not hurt at all, so I know I can handle that. But when he got in here, like, deep in, like, right up in this area, that is, like, very sensitive skin. And I was like, ugh. Like, my vaginal lips were this tight. I know that's a little TMI, but they were. My booty cheeks were clenched. I was about to fall out of that chair. I'm trying to think of something comparable to getting this tattoo. If you're... I don't know. Have you ever stepped on a thumbtack? I do it all the time. I hate wearing shoes, so I'm always barefoot. So I step on tacks all the time. And that's what it feels like. It's very irritating, but you can stand it. I saw this one girl, she was like about to fall out of the chair, and she was like crying. And I was like, girl, it don't take all that. I was not in tears. I wasn't crying. It wasn't that bad. I know you guys see me with my hand over my face. I was trying to think of something else other than the pain. Next tattoo, yes, everybody was like, oh my God, you gonna get addicted. And I was like, no, I'm not. The next tattoo I will be getting is probably um, on my wrist and then I'll leave it there. Either on my wrist or on my back, like right up in this area. It was a really good experience. And then when I showed everybody, everybody was like, oh my God, you got a tattoo? It was crazy. My boyfriend couldn't get over it. He was like, oh my God. But I honestly wanted it for me and I waited long enough because I wanted to make sure what I got was something that I really wanted. Love is very self-explanatory. I mean, I don't really have to explain it. And I got it on 5-5-2012, so I'll never forget it. Y'all be good, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, love, and all that good stuff. God bless. Bye!